I had to figure out real quick what this crowd liked on Sunday because I had a monster do not play list. Look at this. So I was not allowed to play 60s, 70s, 80s, EDM, or trap. And generally, new music too, they didn't really, right? And don't get me wrong. So when this happens, right, you, you, you go through the planner. They put this in. They say, all right, know this, know that, know this. You have a meeting with them. Talk to them. I pry a little bit. Oh, you said no 60s. So um, no, no, no Beatles, no like older stuff. Like that. Okay, okay, just checking. No Motown. Ain't no Mountain High. No. Okay, okay, just checking. Right? Like I go through little things. Like, do you really mean that? 70s. So no, uh, you know, September, right? No, I don't like that. Okay, 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 okay. You know, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Okay, you know, staying alive. No, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And then 80, you know, Michael Jackson? No, my, oh, no, Michael Okay, 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 okay. Right? I went through all those. And they shot me down in every little example. So they really meant no 60s, 70s, or 80s. That's what this couple meant. They're, they're, they weren't, you know, they weren't gassing. They were, they were being real. That's what they wanted. And then no EDM basically meant, you know, and generally means like no drops. Like, you know, uh, don't, don't take it. I, I didn't take it so seriously where not to play any song that was like produced electronically, but like, you know, basically drops, any womp, 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 any type of drops like that. No problem. And then trap music, the newer hip hop. So I had free reign for 90s, 2000s, 90s and 2000s, basically, and some, you know, past 10 years songs, but, you know, I guess just the super poppy ones. So this is what I did. So the first set, I'll paint the picture. We brought them in, no intros, so there was barely any formalities, so we had a lot more time to dance. We brought them in, they did their first dance, they did their parent dances, then we went right into a dance set, okay? Quick one, and then I had to sit them for uh, salad, so it was a quick one. It was my, maybe eight minutes, 10 minutes, but I brought them all on dance floor, and this is what I did. So I started with Cali Ocho. Pitbull, super basic, but it's a surefire. If you want to start a dance floor set, right? You don't know what to expect or whatever. It, it's a good one. Pretty much everybody likes to, you know, jam to the Pitbull. Um, then I went into low. It's tricky. So it's funny. So I'm in low and I'm like, man, like I, I kind of, you know, push it might work. It's tricky. So I'm like yelling back to Santi. I'm like, yo, Santi, what year did It's Tricky come out? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Santi, what year did Push It come out? And I think they both came out in the 80s. But, like, It's Tricky was late 80s. And to me, it sounds 90s. I mean, I wasn't there when it came out. So maybe you have, like, if, you were, if you're a little older and you were there when It's Tricky came out, then to you it's, like, totally 80s because you were there, but I wasn't there. So it sounds 90s to me. And I decided to risk it for the biscuit and play It's Tricky and see what the couple did. Because this kind of told me if I can get away with little things here and there, right? If they, the, how strict they are with the no 60s, 70s, and 80s. Like if, if I played this and they just stopped dancing and walked off or something or if their vibe changed, because they were already jamming. Uh, Cali Ocho and Low worked, right? They're out there. Uh, it was a good crowd. They ran right out and they're dancing, everything jamming. So, that, so I saw, I was watching the bride and groom just, just, just hitting their two-step hard. So I was like, all right, I'm going to hit It's Tricky and see what happens. I hit it. And they started jumping up and down, singing it and dancing. I'm like, ah, okay, you think this is 90s too? <laughs> so I, now I know. I, now I know I can like, you know, sprinkle a little something, something there, you know, every once in a while and get away with it. They're not like literally, you know, super, super sticklers uh, in that aspect. So I think it's tricky. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's like 1988 or 1989 when Santi looked it up, something like that. So it was like right, right at the end, right before the 90s. After that, um, Calabria, uh, Donza, Kulo. By Pitbull and uh, TikTok, right? I played TikTok because I was getting ready to sit, see them anyway. I don't think TikTok's a banger at all. I rarely, 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 rarely play it. Um, but it was the one song that um, she did request. Like when she said what to play, she was like 90s, 2000s, TikTok by Kesha. So that was the one request that the bride gave me. And I kind of wanted to see how they reacted, right? Because this, this could clear, TikTok could clear your dance for, in my opinion. Like it, it's, the party don't don't stop to I don't know, maybe it's just my perspective on it, but I just I, I don't I don't usually get into that whole lane of music, right? But I played it and everyone sang along and loved it. I'm like, oh, okay. So then I sat them. We did salads, we did toasts, we did all that stuff. Then we had to do a second dance set. So second dance set, I started with Uptown Funk. Then I went into Gonna Make You Sweat. Because I was in the, no, I started in the no man's land, but I knew Uptown Funk would be super safe and obviously like in the 90s, 2000s kind of thing, and they would like that, right? 
It's a basic or whatever. But because I was in the no man's land of 115s, I'm like, ah, oh, what do I, you know, uh, it takes two. I was thinking, but that's technically 80s. And I don't know. That could be go either way. So I was like, all right, going to make you sweat. Haven't heard that in a minute. Then I went into dynamite. Now, dynamite was clue one, okay? Because I wanted to go back up to the 128s. I wanted to save my hip hop for after dinner because we were going to have like a, you know, a long ass after dinner set because there's like no formalities. There's so much dancing. So this is my thoughts on this. I want to get back up to the 128s. So I decided if TikTok work, I'll play, I'll play Dynamite, you know, and at the very least I can get out of it. And because it's another cheesy kind of hands in the air type song to me, I never play, not a big fan of, you know, but if TikTok work, this will probably work. And Dynamite's like 120, 121. So it'll be a good jump. I can jump that six BPM and then I can speed up Dynamite, you know, uh, enough to get me up in like the 126, 128 range, right? So this is my thoughts on it. When I play Dynamite, they scream the words, like all the dudes, like everyone, like everyone, like scream the words, like every, every single person. So I was like, whoa, I haven't heard Dynamite go off like that in a long time, like since it was hot, you know, years ago. So I'm like, is this, is this crowd really basic? Like, do they like really, really basic stuff? I don't know. So I kept it. So, all right. Well, anyway, let me try some, you know, so I went and do uh, some 90s stuff, right? It worked okay, right? Some 90s clubs. I'm like, all right. I did uh, pump up the jam, show me love. Show me love goes off great around here. May not go off where you're from. I know anytime I have a wedding deep in South Jersey or in Pennsylvania or anywhere outside of like the New York area, North Jersey, show me love never works. So don't even play it. Trust me. But, um, you know, I tried that. It was okay. So I'm like, all right. So I'm not going to do the 90s club. Then I went into get the party started by Pink, shut up and dance, went off, right? I was like, okay. You belong with me, Taylor Swift. Want to see how how deep into the white girl stuff you know they like, and they, that went off. Then clue number two was "Die Young" by Kesha. Because after Taylor Swift went off, after Dynamite went off, after Shut Up and Dance went off, I'm like, oh, I might have a really basic crowd. So I I, I started going into my basic, you know, um, and you know. It's, but anybody watch it, you know, the basic isn't a bad thing. I'm just saying like, you know, the hits, the hits, the pop hits, it's a pop crowd. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You know, somebody get pissed at me, but you know, they like all the pop stuff. So I dive into my pop folders. I saw, uh, I saw die young and I'm like, Oh, that's got a little catchy course. I haven't heard that in a while. I played it. It went all, I never seen anybody like, even when the song first came out, it didn't go off this way. Right. So now I knew. So now I knew. I had the, the, the biggest pop crowd ever. And then I just dug deep after that. So I went into, you know, on the floor, moves like Jagger, sexy back forever, call me maybe, don't stop now. And then don't stop now, I was testing out newer stuff and it worked okay. So I didn't go more any newer after that. I honestly didn't. That was the newest song I played all night because I because it was just okay. So I, I, I realized, and the whole point of me like explaining this to you guys is like, I realized where my pocket was. I, I, I was limited what I could play. They had a huge do not play list, right? I had to find my pocket. I had to figure out where my pocket was, where I'm going to like really live for most of the night. And that was pop, 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 pop. And then the other thing was alternative rock. I ended up doing the blink and all that stuff. And that worked, which is also kind of pop and you know, whatnot. And even the hip hop was like, eh, didn't really work. So once I found that I was good to go. I was good to go for the rest of the night because I have such deep crates with this stuff, you know, and I, I can't stress enough. You got to have deep crates, but I just thought it'd be useful to kind of walk you through my thoughts on that because uh, at first I didn't know what to do. You know, there's so many parts like so the sets I do things, you know, how I mix where like I, I add an older song and I'm like, ah, you know, can't do that now. Well, and, and, and I like to go in and out. I don't like to just play one genre or one thing. So like it makes it a little more difficult. You know, I, I like to ride the BPMs and everything. So you know, it was a little more difficult being limited, but having these deep crates and being able to dive in them and finding that pocket and going through, you know, allowed me to kind of make it work. It was a great wedding. Very, 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 very fun wedding. <laughs>